Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to show you how to use the group and outline feature and also how to create custom views. So on the screen in this first sheet, you can see that I've got this already set up with these little minuses and pluses. So what you can do is you can expand different elements by clicking on these or collapse them like that. If I click on these ones, I collapse it a bit more and then again a bit more. Now all of these pluses and minuses are individual actions, but you can activate a series of actions by clicking these numbers across the top, one, two, three. So one would collapse it down in this example to monthly totals. Number two would collapse this down to uh, weekly and monthly totals. And then number three would expand everything. So I use this quite a lot for my wife's accounts. So I would have it like this, and then whatever week I'm in, I would have expanded. The following week is blank, ready to go. But there you go. That's how it works. Another example. This is an example of the my wife's shop. So again, each week is either expanded if it's the current week or if it's a week that's already gone. I just collapse that down like so and then just have the week that I'm in active like it is there. And then what I used to do with this is I just used to highlight that, drag it down, hold my control key down, let go, copy the next week, change the dates, and obviously change all the figures. It's not the quickest way of doing it, I suppose, but it's okay. These figures are fixed. Like that. So I'm ready to go with a, a new day, put today's date in, and then you start putting the the figures in. Don't know why this has gone green. I'll just point paint that off if I can. Uh, it must be already in there, so I'll just go into conditional formatting and knock that off. I don't want those rules on there. Okay, and then you put in whatever the daily sales were, and off you go again. And then I can now collapse that one out of the way. So how do you do this? So on practice one, let's have a look. Here's a sheet. So let's say that we want to hide or collapse out of the way the yellow rows. So we've just got the titles and the totals. Now I know you can hide stuff, but when you hide things, even though when you go hide, people may not notice that there's not a consistent sequence there, two, five, you know, obviously three and four is missing. Quite often people just don't realize there's things there. So I would say to you, using this feature, if you want to just hide things out of the way for admin purposes, to make it easy for you to manage, this is the feature you should use. You just need to highlight the rows like that, go to the data tab, and then it's on this outline area, group, and that creates you a group. And then you do the same for the next two group and then the last two group. You can also go across the top. So if you wanted to collapse it down to show quarters, you can group, same with that one, group, and there you go. So now if I click one down the left-hand side, that collapses all the rows and then one across the top, it collapses all the columns. So now you've got a, a very tidy looking spreadsheet so this is great for big spreadsheets and in in terms of my wife's accounts 10 years worth of accounts i can collapse it all down just to the yearly total so just 10 10 lines for titles 10 lines for totals so that's all i'm looking at as opposed to all the, the monthly weekly daily transactions in between all of those so group and outline like this is such a great feature now to save a view or create a view on this so if I've collapsed this down and I do want to look at this information quite regularly, I can create I can create a view. So to create a view, you go view, there's custom view, and then you just go add, give it a name, call it by name, Steve. Okay. Now if I expand this out again, I can just go to custom views, show Steve, and I'm back to that. And you can do many custom views. So you might not, you might find yourself, uh, this example is a very simplistic one, but you, you might find yourself where you've got things like this expanded 
and you're constantly going back to that, create a view and then you don't have to faff about with pluses and minuses because sometimes you have multiple pluses and minuses. You, you can have um, more than one layer. And let me see if I can just do that for you on a blank sheet. So let's say um, I've got Monday down to Sunday and then I have week one total and if I just drag highlight that and drag that again to get drag it down again to get week two so it'll do that for you week two so I want um, this to be grouped by week and day so let's see if I can do this so I want to merge that home merge and center type week one just spin that onto its side and put it in the center okay and then I want to do that again so I need to just copy that down and paste it there call it week two so now um, let's put some names across the top Steve Dave so the group in there would be like that and I go Dave group and then again down to their group let's just collapse that down to see what it looks like so you should have week one week two that's great now if I just insert a column I know there's only there's only um, let's see if I can copy all of this see what happens yeah did it work? No, it didn't do this bit worked, that bit didn't. It's weird. Week three, week four, so I can do a whole month. So I'll just quickly group these to show you. Group. Group. So that's say that's the, the four weeks. But you can then um, set this up so you can group the whole whole month so if I go um, from there all the way down to there let's see if that works group no I need to go past it so let's just insert a row let's get a row above that yeah you what you can't do is um, create a group that's the same line as the others because then it just becomes all one line and it's not what you what we're after here so if i if i highlight from there up to there let's see what happens here if i can click group yeah that's done it so now i've got a complete group at the top overarching everything so if i collapse that down what i should just see is steve and dave and if i have a total if I had a total at the bottom, just put total. So there's a word there. See what happens when I collapse that down. You can then see the total. So you do need to have a little think about um, how you want to to lay this out. But there, when it's in um, this mode, two level two, you can see it a bit better there. So you'd have your weekly totals and whatever they were, and then your total at the end. But that's basically how you do group and outline manually. You can actually get the computer to do it. If I um, ungroup everything, can I ungroup rows? No, I won't bother doing that. So I like the thing. Ungroup rows. Yep, yeah, done. So now I've got a problem because I've ungrouped them. So it's what it's done there is just hidden. It's the ones that had collapsed, it's just hidden the rows. So if I just highlight those and unhide, what I'm going to try and do is um, when you go to the group, you've got this. So I'll just drop the arrow down there. You've got this, this automatic outline option. And then I click that and 
it's done exactly the same for me it's put an extra layer in there so i can collapse the whole thing down as opposed to just individual ones now how is the auto outline working the, the automatic outline is looking for formulas so basically it'll see this line and then it, it activates that it'll see the quarters and it'll see the total so that would have been the quickest way to achieve what i did initially manually but i was wanting to show you how to do it manually but that's basically all i want to talk about for today that's the group and outline a great little feature in excel